all right how's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel dan versus food as you may already know it is the mid-autumn moon festival this weekend um so we're in shimen we're just gonna have a, a kind of wander around actually just to see what kind of celebrations or if there are any events going on something like that apologies for the bad lighting around here it's not really well lit so we are heading to near the station first we'll just make our way down and then kind of just do like a loop of Shimen. I think that would be a good idea um, there's a couple of things I need actually I need to buy I've just run out of coffee so I'm gonna go to this um, coffee supplier they do really good coffee there and what else do I need I can't remember now and well yeah today is actually Friday um, but I just managed to pick up a substitute class at a different school which was good that was just for two hours a little bit of a little bit of extra money for me uh, so yeah I just got off of the bus actually uh, that's why I haven't, I haven't got the train today and straight away here check this out that looks like Korean barbecue because of the kind of extractor that they use um, and yeah the grill it looks really really nice actually I don't think it's the cheapest option in Asia um, well I mean in Taiwan it's a lot more expensive for Korean barbecue buffet and I haven't even seen that many buffets to be honest with you it's like a set menu and it's not like a massive amount do you know what I mean so I haven't eaten Korean barbecue here yet probably will though so okay that way and then right is to the main sort of Shimen alley or alleys but yeah like I said we are going to just head down this way your red man started at 18 seconds that did not very long to walk across if you're if you're a bit elderly it's one of these lottery um, gambling shops Taiwan sports lottery the scratch cards I think it's just scratch cards actually yeah scratch cards. I haven't done it maybe I will someday we'll see um, see if I win anything probably not though don't know how to do it so. and that is a karaoke place it's huge it's that entire building sing go ktv at karaoke let's just have a quick peek in here and see see what prizes they've got in these machines because they're absolutely just different everywhere in every one of them what is that hand gel earrings sweets sort of oh no they're um, crisps they're the tiniest tiniest bags of crisps i've ever seen tom and jerry um, um looks like cream caramel or something like that hot dog and garlic look what's that about Sharks. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I did actually pass one the other day and do you know what they had in them, in one of them? Was it the newest iPhone? iPhone 14, I think it is, right? I was like, how? I didn't try it though. It was, uh, it was packed in there, as you can imagine. I didn't see anyone win one though. Uh, tissues, toilet tissue, um, water bottles, whales, dogs, dinosaurs, ducks, rabbits, more bunny rabbits, more dinosaurs, earphones, yeah, the lot, it's got everything in it. And just a couple of racing, uh, racing things and a drumming. Not sure what that is. The little green 
banana leaf. Something is wrapped inside in the cabinet there. It might be like that, maybe beetle gum. It's the only thing that I can sort of connect to something like that here. Where they chew it and I think it goes to like, kind of dyes the teeth, it goes a certain color, something like that. Here we go, here's another one, look. No one's in here. I won't go in, in that one as well. I'll skip. Moore's Burger. Yeah, here they have a bunless burger. It's like a sticky rice, basically. It looks severely unhealthy, but they've just put like two green beans there, a bit of lettuce to yeah, give it a little bit of colour. Make it seem like it is a little bit healthy. Massage place, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Oh, yeah. Happy yeah. Moon Festival. <laughs> Oh, the massage here. Yeah. Let's check the price. Head, neck, shoulder, massage. It's 10 minutes, 200. 10 minutes for five pounds. 30 minutes for 10 pounds? Yeah. Oh, hello. hello. How are you? Just um, checking the price. Yeah, so foot massage, body massage, and foot bath. Two hours, 1,600. Yeah. That's about 40 pounds. Got oil massage as well, foot callus removal, manicure, pedicure, yeah. Chinese cupping scraper. You've got everything, haven't you? Yeah. Wow, everything, everything. Yeah, everything. Uh, cool, okay, yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah. All right. Yes, a little bit pricey, I'd say. It's probably about 25, 30 pounds for an, an hour. Did it work out? <clears throat> Which, yeah, of course, definitely cheaper than than some Western countries, but definitely more expensive than some Asian countries as well. Through, we're gonna make some um, smoothies there. Crispy milk donut over there, which I haven't tried yet. I haven't seen them a lot here, but that place is always busy when I walk past there. Seems like a really popular Taiwanese sort of dessert. Yeah, right. Deep fried donut snack. Kani. Bar. Cocktails. 40 on them, 1,450. Whoa, oh no, that's not 1,000. I thought that was 1,000 there. So 450 for a horny bottom. Uh, yeah, they're all 450 for those. Uh, beers, 450. And what is that? Millet wine special blend. I've never heard of millet wine before. What is millet? Millet wine? No, well I have heard of millets obviously, but I've never seen it in a bar like that. Just want to get like a tower of beer or cocktail in somewhere like that. So. Okay, okay. I just had the huge whiff of coffee. <coughs> Sorry. This is Fong Da coffee. And since 1956, okay. They do have some seating in there. Um, and of course, they, I think they roast the beans here. They've got hello again, hi again. <laughs> it's not gonna be the last time I see her tonight. I just know it. Um, what do we got? Charcoal coffee, espresso blend. And they've run out of Cuba Blue Mountain. Mandelin X10 Brazil. Strong blend, Blue Mountain, Sumatra. Uh, from that blend. So the price of that, 450 grams for 350 new Taiwanese dollars. <sighs> can't, can't vlog and do maths at the same time. <coughs> Conversions. Um, so 100 is £2.50 by about £7 for 450 grams. So we're talking about, about $20 a kilo, it works out, I would say. Um, there's Colombian, Ethiopian, Brazil, Santos. This one here especially for, for iced coffee. And charcoal and vanilla. Yeah, um, but the coffee here is really good. I can't remember the, the one I got last time actually. It might have been, it might have just been the espresso one. I think it was. Okay, I'm gonna get 450 grams of this. But first I'm gonna ask if I can film because I wanna film them grinding it all up. Okay, yeah, I've asked for permission. Thank you. Can I have um, for, what is it? 
450 grams of the espresso blend. It's a bit espresso uh, blend. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. 450 grams. Okay. Uh, it's a off. Espresso, yeah. And uh, grind, grind. Let's just have a quick, quick peek in there. Yeah. There's the roaster. Four hundred and seventy-five. Ah, hey. uh, yes, please. It's a piece yep. of. Yes. Um. Yes. yes. For espresso. Okay. Oh, I just love the smell of coffee. I don't usually smell it in the evening. It's about half six now, but it still smells amazing. It's just like I love coffee so much. Oh yeah. They don't just do coffee in here as well. Well, that's grinding. I'll show you. They, they've got some mooncakes in here. Um, small like biscuit things. Um, we relish coffee. I'm not sure if that's dissolvable powder, it looks like. It's really, it's like a powder, yeah. Don't think that's for, for brewing. And they've got loads of biscuits and stuff there. Peanut and walnut. Um, snacky things. Cool, that's good, that's good. That, that, that will last me about, how long will that last me? About five days, probably. <laughs> right, money, it's worth it. I'm happy and more than willing, thank you, more than willing to pay a bit more for really good coffee. Yeah, and um, that's, that's good. Thank you. Okay. So it's a nice place, right? It's really nice. I might come in one morning actually and um, chill in here. But when I do walk past it, it is pretty damn busy in the mornings. Right, I'm gonna put this in my bag. Back in a sec. Okay. All right. See you. Okay. So yeah, let's keep going. Let's go down here. It's not far to the. Um, yeah, near the near the the train station. I think maybe one more crossing. Um, what's that? What's that? What's that? It's like a peach black tea. Oh, it's like a bubble tea, tea pearl tea place. They've got so many. Look at all of those. So so many. Another one of these game places. My mind's gone blank, but I can't remember what, what the name of this thing is called. What is it? It's something so, so obvious, right? I just don't know what, what it is. Grabby, grabby thing. What is it? Damn it. Oh well, come to me later. What's that? Watch barbecue, grilled food and hot pot. Uh, Japanese? No? No, no, maybe not. I think, I think just Chinese. Chinese, Taiwanese. Okay, right. So, wow. We've got a huge, like, market stalls, vendors stand set up here. Um, wow, okay, okay. We'll go over that side in a little while. Just going to check out this side first, all right? See what they've got. Just clothes, bags, earrings, or the bags. Hang that on your rucksack or something. Yeah, more key rings. Looks like, oh, they do pennards, pennards. Um, looks like bracelets and necklaces. Yeah, same here as well. Hello. Hi. Jewelry, what's up? <laughs> and yeah, quite a bit of jewelry here, in fact. So a lot of necklaces with some stones, badges, stickers. Smells good. <laughs> mm. I think that's the special wood that they slowly you can slowly burn and it's like a natural incense kind of thing it's really nice because i don't like 
Yeah, I don't like uh, normal incense, you know, on the sticks that you can buy. As soon as I just slightly breathe that in, I'm just like, ugh, I'm choking. It's horrible. What's this? Hello. Ah, oh, it's uh, alcohol. Oh, it's pomelo wine. Pomelo plum wine. Okay. 15% 300 milliliters is 280. We've got a big bowl there for 600. And some cranberry wine, uh, red and oh, blueberry and cranberry. That's the one. So that's good. Thank you. Again, more jewelry. More jewelry. Let's go over that way, I think. Go over there. But yeah, it's still a little bit early, so. I think it'll be like really, really busy in a couple of hours, probably at like half eight or nine, it will, I wouldn't be able to move here, I think. So I think now is a good time to come. Now's a good time. Let's go around here. I think this is Red House. Uh, I don't know what, like, what its significance is. Sorry, its significance is. Uh, I haven't really searched up on it. But yeah, exit one is for Red House. It says it on the actual train uh, exit sign. Yeah. So it's um, it's something. I'm not sure what. What's that? Welcome to Bad Taiwan, the best gay-friendly shop. There we go. Look. So you just come out of the station, and the first thing is a is a gay-friendly shop there to get to get whatever whatever you want. Um, don't know what that is. That's closed. Hats, onesies, oh no, aprons, brownies, bear. Mm. So, wow, look at all those brownies, that's a lot. Classic, black and white, caramel, chocolate peanut, strawberry, hazelnut, matcha, lavender, baileys, they've got everything, look at that. Whoa, Earl Grey. Uh, French rose, lime mint, and mojito. Mm. They sell like little plant pots as well. Okay, so yeah, let's um, <laughs> let's go around. Maybe we can walk around Red House. Looks like a little little exhibition or something in there. We'll, uh, we'll maybe check that out after. Yeah, more bags, jewelry, more henna. It's kind of repeating itself again. I'm not sure. Some lanterns, like Egyptian themed things, scarab ornaments. Hello, more jewelry. And over there, more bags. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit samey, but. Dog. Check out that dog. Oh. All right, so that's it for here. Maybe we'll go in, through, and out. So, Creative Boutique 16. It's going to be more bags and jewelry, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Things uh, for babies, probably to get them to sleep. Sounds like. Mm. All right, all right. I think it's going to be still samey there. So let's come this way. Let's come out here, where there is seems to be some bars. Nice um, seating area. Bucket of beers there. Well, it's not really a bucket actually. That's, oh no, that's the ice, isn't it? That's a bucket of ice and two beers. Should we just check the menu? Yeah, this place or these places are packed. Always absolutely evenly packed um, over the weekend, even in weekday evenings actually. But yeah, like I said, it's still early. So 
400 for a Long Island iced tea. So it's 10 pounds for a Long Island iced tea. That's usually what I go for if I'm drinking cocktails, which I haven't drank cocktails in such a long time. Uh, hella, hella long time. Uh, all cocktails buy free, get one for free. Um, and so they're 300 each, so three, six, nine, 900 for four cocktails. Yeah. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Um, yeah, it's pretty nice here. It's chilled. Um, the temperature has dropped a little bit compared to like one month ago. It was just excruciatingly hot. Couldn't really do anything. It's just like it's just not enjoyable to do anything. But just like sitting out here, and it's good. They do. They have fans if it's needed, but it's not really, really needed at the moment. Um, it's a nice temperature, probably 32, 33, not 42 or 43. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Need that in my bedroom. Okay, so through there, I think I can see the road there. There is another bar here, Soul Bistro. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's this? Two. Looks like an Evans fashion design. Looks like another gay shop there. I think so. And underwear. If you need some speedos. We've got Corona, Heineken, Taiwan beer. Mm -hmm. What's this? So beer in that, and then another beer. 450 or is that the 450? Buy two glasses of Hope Garden and get a free French fries for 280 each. And these cocktails, Fer uh, sorry, Merry Mango, Jules and Gin, Mysterious Skin, they're all 350. Uh, Summer Girl. We're going to go back this way and then we will go over the other side and check out what's over there. It's a green man. It's a, oh, damn it. It's literally just gone red. Can I make it? No. No, I can't. He is, though. Look at him. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be naughty. I'm going to do it. Plenty of time there, right? Okay, we're on the other side. Let's check here. Smell coffee. Pretty sure I can. Or oh, maybe not. Only jazz. I buy it. Blueberry raspberry. I buy it. Grenadilla, pineapple, matcha, matcha, latte, jam. Jams? No. Oh, yeah. No, that's not right. And then. I don't know. That looks like the matcha, little kind of um, yogurt y thing up there. Not sure. More jewelry. But yeah, I'm not sure if there is like a proper event for this this moon festival. I did search up online. There wasn't a lot of information really. It didn't say there was like you know at a specific location, something like special going on. Um, so yeah, but they might have something here this evening. They might not, but it kind of just seems like a bit more normal, like a, bit, like a normal evening. Well, Friday anyway. Music, musicians, always here. <laughs> I always need socks. I uh, seem to just lose them. Even though I have my own place now. It's the washing machine. 
it eats them. But yeah, there's a lot of people there. Um, gonna walk this way and uh, yeah, just kind of go on a random, random walk around, see what we can see. But it does seem like any other Friday night. I was expecting maybe Dragon Dance or something like that. Maybe the Dragon Dance is for the New Year, Chinese New Year, not uh, not the, this festival. Stuff like that, but it's not. It's, uh, it's just like any other Friday night, I think. Sticky rice. Is this rice? Rice cake. Rice cake, yes, yeah, rice cake. We got cheese, peanut with condensed milk, peanut brown sugar, matcha, and I love the matcha here. Thai spicy barbecue and soy. 45 for one. Oh, tteokbokki. That's uh, Korean. Korean sticky kind of glutinous rice cake with sauce, uh, boiled egg, pork, and sliced up something or other. Oh, it's cabbage as well. Oh, well, this tteokbokki is 80. The sauce is so good though. It's like a little bit, tiny bit sweet. Tteokbokki, cheese tteokbokki, cheese tteokbokki noodles, 110. Tteokbokki ramen, cheese tteokbokki ramen, 130. Smell this there. Cheers, cheers. Medium size 200, large 300, fried cheese stick 80, cheese hot dog 60, just normal hot dogs 40. All those like sides you can put on them. Yeah, yeah, good, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. 75 for the, yeah, the hot dog. Is it in a bun? I can't see any buns anywhere. But there's something underneath. It's probably rice to be honest with you. They're, they're really good at getting rice in everything here. Like that Moss Burger place. It's getting considerably busier. Literally, we're in this like 15 minutes of being here. So, I'm not sure how long I'm going to walk around for. Yeah, like I said, it, it just seems like a normal Friday night. So, not really any celebrations for the Moon Festival happening. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe later, but like I said as well, I didn't see anything online. So, I don't know. It's Don Don Donkey. Oh, Don Don Donkey, I love this store. It's a Japanese store of like, literally about five million individual items from Japan. It's insane. Don Don Donkey is mental. Um, three floors of it in here. Holy crap. <laughs> Fresh foods, pet supplies, seafood, wacky beef, toys. Household goods, contact lenses. Seriously? Why would you have that on there? They're not going to let me in with my camera, but I'll just walk in. Let's just let's just test and see. My like big hand grip tripod. Now they're just going to be like, "What are you doing? Get out of here! You're not allowed to film." Or should we just we go in and we can't go up there? Maybe, maybe yeah. Or oh, that woman, the woman standing there. She saw me with the camera and she sort of started to come towards me. She's giving out leaflets at, at our other entrance. She following me? No. All right. Wait for the song. It's 
the song is going to be in my head for for months. Oh no! What? I want to go right to the top. Oh, maybe that's what they do. They do that in a lot of places. They force forcibly direct you to the uppermost, furthest part of the store so that you have to walk past absolutely everything else. It's like a maze, but a very easy maze um, to get out, basically. I don't need a basket. I love this place because it just feels like you are you are instantly transported back to Japan. I love it. So pocky watermelon snacks. Pear I think. Orange. It's all this. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Crisps, vegetables, tomato, flavoured stuff. Toilet tree things, shampoo, makeup. No, I don't really want the makeup section. Don't need that. Beautiful ready, right? Oh, I haven't really heard the song yet. When's the song gonna start? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I can't get it in my head now. I need to hear it first. I wonder where the, where the come across the contact lenses section. Because there might be like 50,000 different types of contact lenses from Japan in here. Oh, is that the song? Donkey, donkey. I think that's it's just not loud enough though. I need the song louder. Toothbrushes, hundred different types of toothbrushes, flossing things, don't know, toilet locker, toilet cleaner, toilet foamer. <laughs> Toys, toy cars, trucks, tractors, sports cars, vans. It's a Lego sign in Japanese, right? Doesn't look like Lego. Tomika. No, can't be Lego. I'm lost. Getting a bit anxious now. Oh god. Doesn't take long in this store to start to feel a bit like, get me out of here. Get me out. But I still love it at the same time. Socks, pudding socks. How much are they? They are. Doesn't say a price, I don't think. Yeah. No. Oh, there we go, right at the top, in the place it should be. 139 for a pair of socks. Chili ones, pudding ones, um, those ones, orange ones, fruit ones. Wow, there's so many. They look awesome. Should I get a pair? Oh, that's the supermarket, isn't it? That's Lawson. They've got Lawson. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's just milk. <laughs> I swear that's like the Lawson sign, Japanese convenience store. But they look pretty small. I don't think they will fit on my big fat feet. So I won't buy them. What's that? Just a cushion, pans. Oh, this is just one floor. Oh God. But, yeah, we're at the top, aren't we? We've still got to go out, get get out. Go down and get out. Donkey. There we go. You can hear the song. Biscuits. Everything, everything, everything. Where was I? Where did I? 
Oh, it's Bangkok, wasn't it? The don, yeah, the don donkey store in Bangkok. That was a pretty good one. That, that, I think this one's bigger though. That one had like two floors, I think. So this one's just insane. Um, look at it all. Look at it. <laughs> donkey, donkey. What did you do on the Moon Festival in Taiwan, Dan? I walked around Don Don Donkey store and um, got lost. Oh, see, look, that's a dead end there. Staff only. How do we get out? Oh, 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 there we go. So cute though, right? Look at that. Look at that. Right, floor two. What have we got here? Oh, we've got like freebies or something. Looks like a bit of... Hello. 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 Can I try a piece, please? Okay, is okay. It... What, what is it? Stompy. Hey. So... Oh, it's like a little cake thing, chocolate, chocolate hey. cake, yeah? Chocolate, chocolate cake. cake. Okay, I'll just have a small, small hey. piece. Thank you. Thank a whiskey. You. Whiskey? Really? Yes. Oh, wow, okay. Cake and whiskey. Shishi. Whiskey, whiskey. Thank you. Ah. Mm. Take that. Abazu. Mm. Abazu. Okay, Abazu. Product of Japan. Nice. Takes a little bit dry. Good. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. That's really good. Oh, now the burn's coming. <coughs> oh. So we're in the alcohol sector, I think. We'll get into it. No, that whiskey's really nice, actually. Really, really nice. Wow. Red wine, a meshu. What is it? Plum? Maybe a plum? Um, here's that whiskey. Uh, as as our book, 700 mils is 1,750. Uh, so about 40, 45, 40 pounds, 45 pounds, $60 for that. Mm, but Japanese whiskey is seriously good. Even the cheapest Japanese whiskey, I can't remember the name of the brand, might be a Suntory product. But yeah, it's like really cheap and it's really good. Had it when I first went to Japan, like 2009. Not on this most recent trip. Though. So, yeah, it's good. Um, right, how long am I going to be in here? Is most of this video going to be Don Don Donkey? Probably. What is that? Row? Mm, I think so. 799. Artificial crab legs. Basically, just like big, big crab sticks there. And they've got these ones here, they're not frozen. 59, whoa, that's quite a lot. Seaweed. This could probably just be a video in itself, couldn't it? But I haven't posted in a while and I'm just, I'm just vlogging, just trying to get back into the swing of vlogging. So I'm just gonna vlog anything and everything. <laughs> All right. right. Oh, well, it's an alcohol section. Where that can't just be the only bit of alcohol. I want like I want shelves and shelves. Its own like department. Where is the alcohol department? What's this? Crab broth, maybe? Canned stuff? Canned fish? What's here? Sweet potato. Seventy-nine for a kilo, maybe. How much are some oranges? Oh, oh no way! Five hundred and ninety-nine Taiwanese dollars for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they're not even oranges. They're like satsumas. I oh, know satsuma, Japanese um, oranges. That is about twelve pounds. It's a lot. Little mini pumpkins, 65. Jellies, grapes, 699 for grapes. Two peaches for 12 pounds. More, 15 pounds actually, 15 pounds. Grapes, 
1,200, that is 30 pounds. 30 pounds for these grapes. That's it, that's a lot. That is a hell of a lot. Whoa. Whew. And then we've got this, it's watermelon for 79. Three grapes, 79. Two pound exactly. Where is the alcohol section? Wagyu beef, washi beef, Japanese wagyu. It looks like just pure fat there. Wow. Beef is cheaper, maybe than the uh, than the fruit. Uh, so, ooh, what is that? That is a noodle baguette. Wow. I've never seen noodle in a baguette before. It's the first time. Some fish. Some. I don't know. What is that? Can anyone translate? I can't really see what it is. Onigiri. Deep fried chicken. Deep fried fish cakes, maybe. Cake. the alcohol section let's just let's go there you see you're directed everywhere you, you have to go past everything um, <laughs> it's a good thing but but a bad thing at the same time but we can't go, go that way oh no that's going up anyway I don't want to go back up hell no Let's check what alcohol they've got. A bunch of wines, peach wine, um, sake. Does that say sake? Probably, right? Big bottles there. Uh, lemon something. Pineapple stuff, mango, banana, kiwi, peach, melon. Gin, Okinawa gin, uh, shikwasha, juniper berries, guava leaves, goya, roselle, and long pepper gin. 47%. Whoa, and the price is there. What's this one? Japanese craft vodka. See that. 549. Not too bad. What's that? Half a litre? Uh, 500 mils. Yeah. Hmm. Another gin, another gin. Still haven't found the contact lenses. Where are the contacts? Oh, cider. Five pounds for a bottle of cider. This is the, what's it called? The main brand in, in Japan. Hakushu, Japanese single malt. 4,599. Whoa, quite a lot. Ah, oh, this is the one. This is the one I was saying about, that they have in Japan. They have a even smaller bottle. That's pretty cheap, 315. That's, that's six pounds, that is. So, not too bad. Um, you compare it to the price of the other bottle that we that we just looked at. Oh, will we ever get out of here? I wonder. Will we? Will we? Um, right, that's the whiskey woman. Let's go down first floor. Let's see what they got there. So this is just like the entrance part. So I'm not sure even. Oh, we're here. Okay. okay. Um, Oh no, that's an exit and this is another exit. I came in here, so I'm going to go out that other exit actually now. Yeah, first floor, I don't think there is anything right on this ground floor. I'm not bothered. I'm don't don donkeyed out a little bit. 15 minutes is enough. 
but thank you. Let me get out of there. All right. What? Okay, okay, okay. Now, where on earth am I? Oh no. I'm at a different exit. Let's go this way. Oh, it's actually quite nice to get out of those, um, those alleys and that, just that, that crazy, crazy store. Okay, so I have, I think I've decided what I'm going to do. You know, I'm pretty hot now. Um, and I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna to go to this noodle place um, where you can just choose and pick from like a glass cabinet or just a bunch of different things. Loads of vegetables, loads of different meats, seafood, sticks, like all, all kinds of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna get that, I think, quickly. So I'm quite craving something spicy and I think they do it really spicy there. So that is where we're gonna go. I think, I think it's this way, and then right. All right, so you're there. <laughs> oh, so the restaurant that I was gonna eat at is closed, it's here, it's closed. But there is an Indonesian, Indonesian right? Yeah, Indonesian restaurant here and but not really traditionally but now nowadays it is traditional to have barbecue right? Yeah. On the moon festival. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Look what they've got here. They've got squids, a pork belly, fish, oysters. What's this? I've never seen this before. These are... Yeah. It looks like some kind it's like of um, vegetable like that. Mm, yeah, yeah, like kind of vegetable. Vegetarian can eat this. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but that's... them, uh, I can't speak for English. That's okay. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just walking past, and then she said, "What's your name, sir?" My name is Twang Noya. Twang Noya. Twang Noya said, "Ah, oh, you should film the barbecue. Film the barbecue." Yeah. <laughs> so, here it is. Here's the barbecue. That's amazing. Check it out. Fish. Um, yeah, prawns, they've got clams. Look at this, look at that. That's huge. Wow. So many, so many, so many. What's the name of your restaurant here? Warung Maktik. Warung Maktik. Yes. Warung Maktik. Warung means is a restaurant. Oh, okay. Warung in Indonesia. Yes, in the same language. in Malaysia. Uh, no, 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 different. No, 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 oh, it's different, no, no, no. right? It's different. Okay, okay. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> They've just invited me to to try some of their their stuff. Look at it all. There's just so much. And uh, check it out. Look at that. Oh yes. Okay. It's you can okay. Try just, all the whatever you want. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. So friendly. So so friendly. I might come and see it. Hello. Hello, you. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'll sit here. And I think it's going to be a little bit hard. Peel the prawn. I'll put it there for now. Um, and back you in a set. 70%? Yes. 70%? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's kind of, you're just giving me Japanese whiskey in here. I'm going to be able to see it. But a, throw on a bit the colour of that. More whiskey. Oh, yeah. Right. Cheers, man. Cheers. 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 Wow, it is strong, but it's got a little sweetness to it. Oh, ice, yeah, okay, okay. Sweet, that's good, thank you. Yeah, oh, that is a bit of a burn now. I'm gonna end up getting drunk, aren't I? Oh no. <laughs> oh, luckily, my place is not too far from here, so. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. I will come eat here oh, on yeah. another day. 
I think so. I think I'd like Indonesian food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hang on. Alright, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. So, so good. So, Wow. Putting beer inside the foil with the clams. So, beer steamed clams. What's up? <laughs> Is that pork or? Oh, that's beef, I think, right? Check that out. Mm. Wow. So, marinated in a really, really good sauce. Yeah. Squid. What are they marinated all with them? They're all so different. That is cooked absolutely perfectly as well. Like, no chew to it whatsoever. I think it's the most tender, tenderest squid I've ever had. I'm gonna go for this um, chili sauce. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. Definitely like a sweet glaze, I think. Try and get a little bit more chili there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I can't get it, pick it all up at the same time. Wow. Mm. Oh my god. That is so beautiful. You like chili? Mm. Mm. Very good. That is crazy spicy. Very, very, very spicy. Rob. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Wow. Okay, so I have tried a bunch of things. That was delicious. Thank you, Taramakasi, Taramakasi. So, so good. Great food and hospitality. Okay, thank you. Okay, see you. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. All right. I'm gonna end the vlog here now. Um, yeah, what a great end to this kind of walk around. I was sort of expecting more events and things happening in uh, the main part of Ximen, but this is like a weekend long festival. So today's Friday, maybe tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, there will be other things happening. So stay tuned, okay. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you did and you wanna watch more videos, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. See you soon, peace out.